Hello everybody, a couple of weeks ago Yellowstone season 4 said goodbye with a brilliant final episode that shocked us all. It witnessed Jamie killing his biological father, Garrett and complicated the Dutton family relationships even further. Normally every season final of Yellowstone is a bittersweet incident for us. On the one hand, we hate to wrap up the season as we don't want to wait for yet another year to welcome a new season of the show. On the other hand, we are happy because traditionally, each Yellowstone season reaches its peak at the season final and we are more than entertained. This year, however, there is an exceptional situation. Previously, after Yellowstone, there was nothing else. We were left with nothing but the longing after the show. And yet, this year, Yellowstone expanded its universe with two new spin-off series. While 4 Sixes is still waiting to be released, 1883 has already hit the TV screen and impressed us with its production's value that is compatible with Yellowstone. Now, it is a little bit more bearable to wait a new Yellowstone season since we get to know the history of the Duttons by taking a trip to the 19th century through 1883. Last week, the show released its fourth episode. In this episode, we watched our migrant group moving across a river to reach Oregon. It was a tricky subject since they were all traveling with heavy wagons that would not be able to survive the depth of the river. Expectedly, Shay and James encouraged the Germans to leave their heavy belongings behind. Their argument was simple. To start over, you need to get rid of the old properties. Otherwise, you would die alongside those properties. It was a life of death situation for the Germans and they had to accept the order even though their heart ached. For instance, a musician had to leave his piano behind, which was a traumatic incident for him as that was his entire livelihood. In the meantime, she underlined that Oregon is so beautiful that it is worth leaving your properties behind and going through all of these. His phrase of Oregon was crucial because the crossing of the river cost even more than those nostalgic belongings. Many people lost their lives while mass graves were dug to bury them. The entire crossing of the river was shown as a montage with Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata as the background music, which made everything even more tragic. As we all know, Elsa is the most hopeful of the bunch as her youth enables her to overlook the tragedies and difficulties of this deadly road trip. However, this episode witnessed a change of heart on even Elsa's part. Everything started when she saw the all belongings of the Germans left behind. Then, when she crossed over the river, she saw her mom traumatized. Despite being one of the coolest characters of the show, this episode was a turning point for Margaret as well. After crossing the river, she helped others to cross it as well. While she saved many, a woman who was drowning in panic pulled her into the river as well, forcing her to push the woman back to survive. The incident traumatized Margaret and the last time we saw her, she was sitting on the riverside with multiple injuries on her face and shocked in her eyes. Elsa witnessed this scene and seeing her strong mother in this situation finally showed her the true face of this trip. This journey was not as full of adventures as she assumed so far. On the contrary, this journey was full of tragedies that will mark all of them for their entire life. In the upcoming episode of the show, which we expect to be released on January 16, we are likely to see even more tragedies that are expecting our group on their way. So far, we have seen them clashing against bandits, dying out of dirty water, be a victim of their intra-group fightings and failing in crossing a river. While all these are some of the common struggles of the era, perhaps the most popular one is still yet to be explored in the show. Yes, you guessed it right. We expect the show to be explored in Native Americans of the era and their interaction with the white people. In the very first scene of the episode 1, we saw Elsa fighting against a group of Native Americans. Now that we are halfway through the show, we expected to see that plotline being developed gradually. We also expect Elsa and Ennis to improve their romance on the way, as the couple enjoys each other's company. That being said, Margaret will probably oppose their relationship, especially after she witnessed so many horrors while crossing the river. She will probably think that falling in love at such a time is not only foolish but also dangerous as it distracts one's attention from the important things. James, on the other hand, will probably focus on finding a way to share the authority with Shay as the two men are not exactly besties when it comes to critical decision making. In episode 4, Elsa said that their past life is over now and they beginning a new one. We feel like this is a sign that we will finally learn something about the family's life back in Tennessee. 
we know that they were a middle class family in which the children were properly educated and they had decent money to live a moderate but good life. However, we need more information that will tell us why James decided to go on this journey and start over. We hope for episode 5 to explore this issue. We believe the episode's trailer will be released on January 15, a day before the actual release date. What do you think about 1883? Do you think the show deserves more hype? Do you think it is just a filler to pass time while Yellowstone is not around? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching. See you at the next one.